November election controversy over one ballot measure is already heating up. It's Prop 46 or the Patient Safety Act. Supporters say it will save lives. Opponents argue it will increase your health care costs and drive doctors away. NBC7's Candace Wynn is here to explain. Well, both sides say there is a problem with medical professionals and drug and alcohol issues. Now, that puts you, the patient, in danger. Prop 46 would increase the cap on damages in malpractice lawsuits and allow for drug testing of doctors. My colleagues all knew something was wrong. Dr. Stephen Lloyd admitting he was addicted to drugs while on the job. At my worst, I was taking about 100 pills a day, every day, and I was working in my job. Lloyd knows he put patients at risk, which is why he supports Prop 46. Among other things, it would increase the state's cap on damages in malpractice lawsuits, require drug and alcohol testing of doctors, and report positive tests. The possibility of hurting a lot of people. NBC7 found at least six doctors in the county with drug and alcohol issues. Former La Jolla sleep medicine expert Bradley Shinnero admitted to smoking meth with his girlfriend and is charged with helping her get dangerous prescription narcotics. He pleaded not guilty to the charges but surrendered his license. What we are opposed to is the way the proposition is written. Doctor and Speaker of the California Medical Association House of Delegates Ted Mazur says Prop 46 is deceptive. Behind this proposition are attorneys looking to increase the awards given for non-economic damages in malpractice lawsuits. That also means that they increase their take-home. Mazur says if passed, health care costs will increase and access to care will decrease. He agrees there's a problem, but says this proposition isn't the solution. All while people like Dr. Lloyd argue no one can afford not to pass it. Well, today the organization Consumer Watchdog released a report saying in the past year, 511,000